Okay, guys. Uh, we're gonna start. Uh, we're gonna start with Grace's uh, Swedish Twister. She just won submission of the year. Or Flo just uh, announced that she won submission of the year at this. If you saw her match at uh, Who's Number One, uh, we were drilling this technique right in the back, right before a match with Jessica Khan. Uh, we were like, for some reason, I was just like, let's just do this warm up we do all the time, and uh, and she hit it in her match beautifully. So I figured this is a great place to start. Um, how we like to set this up is just we're we're keeping her. We're keeping our opponent off of us, like we're kind of keeping them off, shielding them off, and we're waiting for that opportunity to get a hold, of, a hold of that body lock. Somehow I slip up, she's gonna get a hold of my body here, okay? And once she's here, it's kind of hard for me to come up if I'm base. So the easiest way we like to come up is Grace is just gonna drag me to the mat, boom, drag me to the mat. And now as I, I'm gonna help her up, I'm actually gonna end up helping her up, and she can get it up no-handed just like she did. She's tracking my leg. That's real important. Ooh, let's turn that. Let's turn this around. So she's already, she's already, as soon as she gets up, she's already hunting perfect dogfight. Step in that butterfly inside my ankle. What she's looking to do is hop over my back and throw her hook in on my far hip. So she wants to circle around. Boom, there's the hook. And she's going to end up right in the truck here. So we like to get real good at getting to that far hook. And I'm already stuck. If I try to turn away, she's got my wrist control. She's got me by my wrist. I can't turn. And, um, She's got me pinned here. Her leg configuration here is like a, uh, we call this like a lotus. So her ankles are crossed and the knees are wide. And this is actually pinning my leg to the mat, okay? Um, with the upper body, can we turn a little bit? With her upper body, it's really important that she keeps me on this side of her, okay? If this elbow, sometimes when I teach the twister, this elbow is not doing anything, people can just pull themselves over the other side and they pull them on top of them. That's not what we want. So when she's in baseball bat, we're gonna be, she's gonna be pulling this arm with her, her, that's her right hand and her left elbow is holding me down. So it's hard for me to get up over. This elbow's pinning me to the mat. Her legs are pinning me to the mat. So it's, all this has to be working at the same time. And what makes this different, this variation of the twister different uh, than like a classic twister, uh, why it's the Swedish twister is the hand fight to get to the finish. So she's gonna, can, uh, let's turn one more time turn one more time so we're here and you can see she's got my arm what she's gonna do to get me to the twister she's gonna throw this arm over her head get real heavy on it she's still got two hands on that arm real heavy on my arm I can't pull it out and what's cool about the Swedish twister is it eliminates the limp arm if she just goes from my head right now she just lets go and limp I can limp arm and get free and escape the back but why we like this the, the Swedish variation is just because it's like extra secure she's heavy now what she does, she's gonna slip her arm up through her arm here. And now she's got two hands on my wrist. Oh, yeah, tight. And then she's stretching out that lockdown. I'm in big trouble here. There's not much I can do except defend myself with my hand. Once she comes over and starts grabbing my head here, the only thing I can really do is stay inside, which is just a simple Wing Chun battle to the inside. She makes a grip and it's either gonna be here or she can figure four and it's gonna be, you're gonna get the tap there. Right, so we're gonna do that one more time. We like to get to that body lock. That's how we get there, right, from the bottom, okay? Um, and we'll go over that one more time. So we're here. If my knee's up, sometimes the guys are just on their knees, sometimes their knee's here. Now you gotta have some footwork. I'm not gonna be able to get to that body lock. So now that footwork comes in, boom, there's that. Drags me to the mat. She's up, She's already. look how she came up. She's already got that butterfly in. Hop over and then just throw that hook in. Boom. Now we're right here. I'm going to try to get away. I can't because she's got me by my wrist. Okay. Legs are heavy. Holding me down with her elbow. I'm stuck here. Okay. The only thing I can really do to defend is hop over the other side or use my leg to free myself. But that's why we go with this. When people put the lockdown in here, that's when guys are going to start slipping out of, the, out of this because it's just too easy to open the legs. So that's why we choose to heels in towards our butt, the knees are wide, and that's when she's gonna hit this, uh, this Swedish play here where she throws the arm, the arm over the head, through the elbow, and now I'm in big trouble. It's all the way down by her back, it's a lot of pressure. And then it's just boom, bang. I, I tell people never to connect the hands down to the neck, make sure you're up high on the temple. That's gonna get that, that crank you want. And of course you can figure for your arms for an even tighter grip. So that'll be where we start.